Hello folks, another day, another distinct lack of dollars here at the old EV BMW barn. What we've got for you today is something that I haven't uh, tackled in quite a while. It's some inverter reverse engineering. Fear not though, I won't bore you with a three and a half hour special. This is just a little um, overview here of our MG ZS. Uh, model year 2022 inverter and drive unit that arrived to me yesterday from EV Breakers. Thank you very much. So, had a look at this. I'll show you the drive unit in more uh, detail here. Even try and put a few uh, pictures that I have in here. Um, but basically, like a lot of modern OEM inverters, there is this, for want of better terminology, an immobilizer uh, system in there. And what that basically means for us is that running them outside of their parent vehicle um, is a lot more complicated than simply finding out which can message commands torque and changes direction and all this sort of thing that we would have traditionally done with say Mitsubishi Outlander, Nissan Leaf, Toyota stuff. Uh, so they all have this key exchange now that goes on between the inverter logic uh, side and other modules within the vehicle. The Model 3 drive unit being the most um, I guess, a uh, common one that we have encountered in the past. So when I first saw the inverter here, and I started looking at the pinouts of the data connector on it, and it has not one, not two, but three CAN buses on there. So I didn't even look. Um, there's um, some information in the available do documents about when you want to swap the drive unit and programming immobilizer keys and all this. So I just said, nah, you know what, let's not. So I thought, let's have a look first of all inside the inverter and see what's actually going on here before we even think about going down our rabbit hole like we did with the Volkswagen Chargers. So much to my surprise here, and we get you in for a little bit of a, a closer look here now. Much to my surprise, the inverter is held together with just ordinary Torx bolts. Pop those out. There's no glue. This is just a, just a normal metal gasket um, that we've seen in many things before. I was completely idiotic and I didn't realize it was a little, um, a little access hatch under the DC connectors they just bolt on here but the lid comes off and inside the lid let me get rid of this guy here for you inside the lid uh, we have the inverter uh, logic board and that logic board connects to the gate driver board by the means of a 1.27 millimeter IDC 50 way cable absolutely plain vanilla um, so the inverter itself then consists of logic board with the, the perennial Infineon Tricor, Altera, CPLD and power supplies and other bits and pieces going on in there. Um, we have six gate driver chips. We have a voltage sensing uh, section here. And we have three current sensors on our three phase um, power lines going to the motor. So yeah, quite a neat package. Everything is just bolted in, everything's screwed together. There's no goo, there's no um, weirdness. You could actually strip this whole thing down if you wished. But our goal here, 
uh, is basically going to be to redesign a replacement board here. Even things like the 50-way connector here for the ribbon cable and the 48-way connector here for the external connections to the world. This basically sits and pops through the size of the uh, casing here. These are all commonly available parts. Uh, you can get them from Mauser, Radionics, AliExpress, anywhere that you please. Uh, so the mission here now for me over the next few weeks on this side of the plan will be reverse engineering um, the logic board. Let me just get rid of this. I've just been doing a little bit of initial looking at it here, uh, just getting it powered up and doing a bit of passive analysis. But yeah, we're going to reverse engineer the particularly the 50-way connector, find out what our signals do here. And then we're going to design a board, exact same size and shape with the same connector and so on here. That will plug into our gate driver board. But instead of all of this junk with its immobilizers and tree can buses and other odds and sods, we're going to have a nice, simple, open inverter uh, logic board for this um, MG uh, drive unit. So the actual drive unit itself is an incredibly, at least to me anyway, that doesn't have much experience of these things, it's an incredibly neat package here. The three phase power connections go in here through this opening. The little plate that goes on the back here uh, that uh, covers up the bolts. What I really like about it is that um, the inverter coolant comes out of the inverter and then goes down. There's a little uh, fitting on the bottom of the inverter that fits into this. Uh, there's a little seal on it. It just plops down in there. So then the coolant comes into the inverter out of the inverter into the motor, out of the motor and out through here. Now, <clears throat> for those interested as well, this is also a hairpin wound uh, motor like the Gen 4 Prius. And like a few of these now, oh, there's a little gasket there on that so there's no weird sealants or anything. Um, Resolver and temperature sensor connector is on the back here. I got to work out what that plug is, by the way. Um, the drive shaft for this side actually goes down the middle of the motor. So we've got a male drive shaft here. And then if we turn around, turn our drive unit around this way, there's a female. Um, end here. So our drive shafts basically are running on the same axis as our motor. Uh, there's a little gearbox and presumably the, so there's a reduction gear, differential, some kind of parking pawl actuator going on here and various mountings that we'll be uh, looking at. So yeah, it's, uh, let's see what we've got here. Anything useful? Sayak motors, traction motor, there's some numbers and stuff on it there. Far as I know, uh, this is from a model year 2022 MG ZS EV. Uh, so it was really good to see that the inverter, even for, it's for a 2022 model year, uh, is made the way that it is, that they're not all going the way of um, having everything on a single board sealed up in goo and so forth. Okay, folks, so I promise not to bore you too much to death in this episode. Uh, just a very quick look at our MG uh, ZS drive unit. And uh, as I say, we're going to be spending the next few weeks getting familiar with this OEM uh, logic board, specifically how it communicates uh, with the rest of the inverter. So once we get that done, then I'm going to lay out a nice open inverter PCB, get some prototypes made, test them here on the bench. And uh, then unfortunately for me, 
I'm going to have to figure out uh, putting this thing into a car at some point in order to prove that everything does what it's supposed to do. But in the meantime, um, I'll set up a GitHub uh, repo where I'll put whatever info I find out about the inverter. Obviously, like all my stuff, this will be a completely open source design. Um, and I will uh, hopefully then sell some uh, completed boards in the EV BMW web shop. So be sure not to buy those. Because if you do, that's only going to fuel me doing more of this kind of thing. So, you know. Also, you know, as I say always, I'll just say one more time, do not support me on Patreon, PayPal, any of that. Do not click those links in the description. They're there so that you can avoid them. So, folks, that is about it. Uh, like I say, it is nice to see an inverter um, being made like this still to today for a pretty much a current uh, vehicle. So we will see you a little bit further down the road on this when we have a bit more um, knowledge of this inverter. And uh, might even get to flash some lights and turn on transistors and measure current sensors and all that fun packed stuff. So. Until then, don't forget to dislike, do not share this, do not subscribe, unsubscribe from this complete nonsense. And um, until then, happy signal probing. <laughs>